Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many Flutter developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a challenge with navigating to a new screen and receives an error message that reads, Navigator operation requested with a context that does not include a navigator. Let's break down the situation. The viewer is trying to navigate to a settings page using an on-tap function, but the context being used doesn't have access to a navigator. This can be confusing, especially when you're following examples from sample applications. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answers, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. The error message indicates that the context you're using does not have access to a navigator. This usually happens when the context is not part of a widget tree that includes a navigator. To resolve this, ensure that your widget is wrapped in a material app or a navigator widget. This provides the necessary context for navigation. In your code, the ONTAP method is trying to use the context from the build method of my app. If my app is not the root widget, it may not have access to the navigator. Make sure that the widget where ONTAP is defined is a descendant of the Material app. This way, it can access the navigator properly. Lastly, check that your settings page is defined correctly. It should extend stateless widget or stateful widget, not navigator. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of navigator operation without a context, this solution creates a splash view in Flutter. It uses a material app with a builder to manage the context correctly. The splash view contains a stateful widget that handles an animation and a timeout. After a delay, it navigates to the main view. In the init state method, the animation starts and a timer is set for three seconds. After the timer, it navigates to the main view using push replacement named. The build method centers an image that scales based on the animation value, providing a smooth visual transition. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you encounter the error, navigator operation requested with a context that does not include a navigator, it usually means your navigator is inside a material context. To fix this, create a new widget for your material app's home. Here's an example that won't work. The navigator is called directly in the main widget, which leads to the error. Now here's an example that will work. The navigator is called from a separate home screen widget, which resolves the issue.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the issue of navigator operation without a context, the user recommends removing the home property from material app and using initial route instead. Additionally, to navigate to the settings page, the user suggests using navigator.push named with the appropriate context. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue arises when the widget trying to navigate is still using the material widget context. To fix this, you should extract your widget with navigation into a new class. This way, it will have a different context for navigation calls. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To resolve the navigator operation issue, simply wrap your app with Material App. Instead of running your app directly, use Material App to provide the necessary context. And that's it guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one. Have a good one.